Thank you to the ClickOS team for having us and Shopify, really appreciate it. I'm going to assume the hands will be lower because we're a relatively new company, but has anyone in the room heard of Shakudo up to this point? Our friends at ClickHouse, oh, nice too, okay. Um, so what we'll talk about today is building a modern data warehouse for real-time analytics and AI, and we'll dive into what we do as an organization. So I lead our alliances and partnerships, and I'm really proud and happy to work with a lot of the logos that we see on here. But what Shakudo is, is the operating system for data and AI. And when we say that, we do actually mean the truest sense of the word of an operating system. You might think of things like Windows or Linux or iOS or Android. What these operating systems do is live on some kind of hardware and then they operate technology for you, all with the user not having to worry about a high degree of DevOps overhead, you know, infrastructure work, all that kind of stuff. In Shakudo's case, we're not operating Instagram or things like that, we're operating data and AI tooling. And it's truly an end-to-end -end set of tools. So data ingestion, all the way to running you know, Gen AI applications. And what we do is we unify all that technology into one place. So you don't have to stress about how am I gonna make ClickHouse work with my ingestion tooling or my BI tooling. That's what we're doing as an organization on our technology all the time. Um, we also deploy on on-premise and our VPC solutions. So you're hearing a lot about self-hosted and there's a lot of just a lot of talk in the industry about self-hosted solutions. So Shakudo completely deploys in your own VPC, which means there's no data you know, leakage anywhere you want it to go. It's all wrapped with RBAC and SSO, so you ensure that people who should have access to this technology have access to your data are only the right people. So I think I touched on all of these, but just to kind of quickly go over it again, you basically get a stack that works precisely for your business with no vendor lock-in. So there's a lot of great managed providers out there, but they're typically locking you into a set of tools that you have to use, sometimes break, sometimes bend. With us, if a certain tool isn't working the way you need it to do, you can swap something out very easily, not having to work about any you know, rollbacks or refactoring. You can grab that new piece of technology and use it how you need. It's all unified on a UI. You can manage the, all your costing, monitoring, all that kind of stuff in one place. And I talked about the last piece, which is you know, running on-prem, keeping your data safe and secure. So when we talk about Shakudo and ClickHouse, there's a lot of considerations that go into a, a modern data warehouse. Uh, and they, actually, the example I'm going to show in a moment is something that we're actually actively working on. And a lot of these considerations were provided by them. And that's why we actually chose ClickHouse or suggested ClickHouse for their use case. So performance, I think we're hearing a lot of that tonight. You know, it's crazy performance, it's fast, the queries are very low latency, that's what people need in this day and age when you're working with large data sets. Compatible has to work across multiple sources and destinations. I'm sure we can all agree now you're not just pulling from one database, you're usually pulling from multiple databases, external sources, APIs, et cetera. So you need to be able to have a solution that can cover that gamut. Unified, have a source of truth, a single pane of glass to look. You don't have to make people move around to different places, so bringing our two technologies together allow people to do that. Accessible, the only way your data becomes powerful is it's, it's democratized. You need to have it as accessible as possible for as many people to get value from it. Flexible, like we talked about, has to support evolving needs, changes, tools. We all know what the best tool is today is probably not the best tool tomorrow, so you don't want to put your chips in one corner to find out you made the wrong choice and now have to roll back all that work. AI ready, I think we all love this word, um, you know, has to be able to be available and ready for your machine learning, for your AI, whatever those use cases might become. Security is of course paramount when it comes to data, whether regardless of internal or external, it has to be safeguarded. And then I think cost effective is important, but what we're trying to say here is the right balance of performance with cost. I think we're hearing it with some other presentations as well too. There's lots of tools that are amazing. They become you know, really, really powerful at the beginning, and then you get this kind of like inverse curve of value to price. So we're always trying to build solutions where performance is matching cost uh, and for the outcomes you're looking for as an organization. So to dive into the example, this diagram might not be as detailed as some of the other ones, but hopefully gives you all a sense of, of what we're trying to actually archetype here. Um, so this, I've uh, anonymized this, but basically it's a retail organization looking to track customer data, order data, looking at their supply chain, connecting all that through a unified data platform that they can then layer on AI and do real-time analytics for. So give an example of an example stack here. Um, I didn't place them inside the image, but hopefully you know most of these tools. Rider Stack does ETL, ClickHouse, we all know them. 
Dagster, Grafana, as I mentioned a few times, Kafka for your streaming pipelines, Real for your dashboarding, DBT for your transforms, and then MLflow for all of your machine learning. Of course, any of these could be swapped out, um, but wanted to give an example of what a stack would look like for this use case. So on the left, you're getting data from things like edge devices, so point of sale terminals, online orders with website, could be through a Shopify as an example, uh, or inventory systems to make sure that you're obviously keeping tabs on what's in your warehouse, what you need, reorder, et cetera. So that gets pulled through. There's gonna be kind of two, uh, there's no laser pointer on this, but two kind of streams. You're gonna get stuff that's gonna come through in a batch processing stream, and then stuff at the top that's gonna to be a stream ingestion with stream processing. All that's gonna move into like a centralized AI ML brain, which will be connected to custom machine learning models that'll have monitoring, you know, feature engineering, all that stuff built in. All of that is then connected in through to ClickHouse, which then is gonna be powering the BI reporting, predictions for customer ordering, when should we do more inventory ordering, that kind of stuff. And then also powering recommendations for the end user when they're exploring you know, the web app, the application, that kind of stuff. And then fundamental to everything would be data quality, governance, RBAC, and monitoring. It's kind of gluing this all together so you have a full visualized kind of pane uh, across the entire stack. And then also showing a reverse ETL pipeline that can bring information back out to your inventory system so you know what's going on in real time uh, and ensure that data is on, on hand when it's required. And then you can see Shakudo is this white box, so we glue all of this stuff together for you. Everything lives in one place, and then again, deployed either on-prem for folks that are still in data centers or you know, cloud provider, provider of choice. Uh, we deploy as a Kubernetes cluster, and it sounds like it's you know, familiar with the group here based off some of the presentations. And then what this is all turning out into in terms of business outcomes, first and foremost, faster decision making. I think we all know time is our enemy. You have to use it as much as you, you can. Uh, you cannot be slowed down by your data. So can process massive amounts of data in real time, making faster decision making, making faster choices for your organization. Reduced operational overhead. So because Shakudo comes in as that unified DevOps layer, it means your team can focus less on the actual infrastructure work and more on the business value driving outcomes, driving value for your customers, and whether internal or external, focusing on the actual business needs. Scalable infrastructure, so bringing the, again, two, our two organizations together, what we're building is really a unified and scalable infrastructure that can grow with an organization, whether small or large. Uh, all that can be managed effortlessly. And then finally, bringing in competitive advantages. So again, I think we also know data is how we can make some kinds of competitive moats, knowing things faster, knowing things sooner, or more detailed than others, uh, enabling us to do things differently than we did in the past. And that's it. I tried to keep it short and sweet. <laughs>